good morning to all of you myself professor nv arp from st college of engineering and research center ever now today we are discuss the new topic of course that is numerical method and computer programming now in previous uh, video we have started the new topic that is solution of ordinary differential equation now in previous uh, video we are discuss about the euler's method how to find the solution of differential equation by using uh, euler's method now in uh, now in that lecture we can see that we can see that rangi kutta method second order rangi kutta method for the solution of ordinary differential equation what is differential equation first the dip, the equation having present of any differential quantity that is derivative quantity then is that derivative value that is dy by dx and in the form of x and y term in the form and the equation will be in the form of x and y term therefore we can see that dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y This is your differential equation. This is your first order differential equation, and the, with the initial condition, with the initial condition, with the initial condition, y of zero is equal to y zero. Means the value of y at x is equal to zero. At x is equal to zero, it is called as y zero, and for the rangi. Second order Rangi-Kutta method, the formula which is required used to find the solution, to find the solution, that is your y of i plus one is equal to y of i plus a one k one plus a two k two into h. Means in that, what is the i? I is the iteration number. I is the iteration number. Suppose. Uh, at it uh, for first iteration, we can find the uh, find the value of y one, find the value of y one at y at value of x is equal to x one. Therefore, at iteration number one, we can take the value of i is equal to zero. Then we can find the value of y one is equal to y zero plus a one k one plus a two k two into multiply of Yes. Well, how to find the value of k one and k two? How to find the value of k one and k two? That is your k one is equal to f of x i comma y y i. For the first iteration, for uh, f of x zero comma y zero, we can find the value of k one by putting the values of x zero and y zero in the Equation that is is the function equation, and we can find the value of f of x comma y. Similarly, we can find the k two. We can find the k two. F of x i plus h and y of i plus k one into h. We can. Already know that the h, the value of h, that is your step size. The value of h is called as step size. Means how to find uh, how what uh, what of value we can find what the value of x we can find the value of y and the difference between previous value of x and uh, next value of x that is called as h and this is called as This is also called as step size. Means the difference between the x value, difference between the previous and new value. And also we have to also find the value of k one. Then put this value of h and k one in that equation, and to find the value of k one and k two. Next, how to write ordinary differential equation? Suppose Uh, the standard form of ordinary differential equation it is dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y. 
Suppose one example is given that is dy by dx is equal to plus 2y is equal to 1.3 e raised to minus it and y of 0 is equal to 5. Then this equation we can write by, by rearranging the equation that is dy by dx is equal to 1.3 e raised to minus x. This, this plus 2y will be uh, transferred to this uh, RHS side. Then it is plus 2y in that uh, RHS side. It is maybe it will be minus 2y. Then and y of 0 is equal to. In this case, f of x comma y is equal to 1.3 e raised to minus x minus 2. And this is your final differential equation, which is used to solve the, so to find the solution of the differential equation. Okay, next. Suppose we can take the one value of, uh, one value of, uh, one practical example, that is, a ball at 1200K is allowed to cool down in air at an ambient temperature of 300K. Means the ball, the temperature of ball is given, that is 1200 Kelvin at ambient temperature, that is 300 Kelvin. Assuming heat is lost only due to the radiation, the differential equation for the temperature of the ball is given by d theta by dt is equal to minus 2.2067 into 10 raised to minus 12 into theta raised to 4 minus 81 into 10 raised to 8. And theta 0 is given, that is 1200 Kelvin. Find the temperature at T is equal to 400 K 80 seconds using Henus method or uh, it is also called as uh, second order Rangi Kutta method. As how much step size of EH is equal to 240 seconds. This is a given uh, problem statement and we can write the given value that is d theta by dt. It is your function of f of x comma y. d theta by dt is equal to minus 2.2067 into 10 raised to minus 10 into theta raised to 4 minus 81 into 10 raised to 10. This is also write f of t comma theta. f of t comma theta. Then theta i plus 1 is equal to theta i plus 1 by 2 k1 plus 1 by 2 k2 into h. Then we can find the value of k1 and k2 by putting the values of putting the values of i is equal to 0, t0 is equal to 0, theta 0 is equal to theta of 0 is equal to 1 to 0, 0 Kelvin. So 0, 0 Kelvin. K1, we can find the value of K1. K1 is equal to K1 is equal to F of T0, comma theta 0 and K2 is equal to F of F of T0, comma plus H comma theta 0 plus k1 h then we can put the value of we can put the value of theta 0 and t0 in that uh, equation and find the values of k1 and k2 and now k1 is equal to f of 0 comma 1 2 0 0 that is put the value of theta in that equation is equal to minus 2.2067 into 10 raised to minus 12 into 1200 raised to 4 minus 81 into 10 raised to 10. By solving this equation, the value of K1 should be is equal to 
minus 4.5579 and find the k2 k2 is equal to f of t0 plus s comma theta0 plus k1 into s is equal to f of 0 plus 240 comma 1200 plus k1 k1 is minus 4.5579 into s yes, is 240 that is f of f of 240 240 comma 106.09 put the value of theta that is 106.09 in that equation and solve the values then k2 is equal to 0 0.017595 then put the value of value of theta 1 is equal to theta 0 plus 1 by 2 k1 plus 1 by 2 k2 into s put the values of all the values that is theta 0 k1 k2 and s in that equation and solve by solving this we can find the value of theta 1 655.16 kelvin this is theta 1 at t is equal to 120 seconds sorry 240 seconds but uh, we find out the value of theta at t is equal to 480 seconds then we can repeat this process as a iteration number two that is step two we can put the value of i is equal to one t1 is equal to t0 plus one day that is 240 theta 1 is equal to 655.16 kelvin then put the values of k1 is equal to f of t1 comma theta 1 put the values of t1 and theta 1 in that equation and find the values of value of k1 similarly k2 is equal to f of t1 plus s comma theta 1 plus k1 into s put the values of s theta 1 k1 and s in that equation and find the value of function 480,561.87. Put the value of theta, theta 1 in that equation, that is 561.87, and find the value of k2. Put the value of theta 1, k1, k2, and s in the equation of theta 2, and by putting all the values, we can find the value of theta 2. And this is the final value of theta 2, that is 584.27 Kelvin at time t is equal to t2. At time t is equal to t2. And t2 is nothing but t1 plus s, that is 240 plus 240, that is 480 Kelvin. This is your final answer uh, or the required answer of. Uh, differential equation by using second order Rangi Kutta method. And the exact solution. And the exact solution of this uh, equation is 647.57 Kelvin. There is a some difference. Uh, there is a some uh, error which will be occurred due to the uh, as the step size we can as the step size decreases, then the error should be decreased. Means the accuracy of the solution which will be increased by by decreasing the step size or increasing the number of iterations. Then we can find out or the, we can uh, uh, we can decrease the error and increase the accuracy of the solution. This is your uh, comparison with exact result. This is your exact result, and this is your uh, the second order. This is the result which is uh, occurred due to the uh, as per the problem solving, as per the previous problem solving. Means as the number of it, as the number of steps increases or the step size is decreases, then the accuracy should be increased.
then the accuracy should be increased. This is the uh, this this is the method to find the solution of ordinary differential equation by using second order Runge Gupta. Okay, understand? Okay, so stop here.